Hello, this time we got uh, Laura Kravchuk here and she's going to tell us something about herself. Laura, would you like uh, to introduce yourself uh, to our spectators and followers? Yes, and say you. something about uh, your role here at Heart of Europe Debating Tournament 2017? Uh, yes, thank you, Radek. Um, so, I have two functions at this tournament this year. Uh, I'm one of the chief adjudicators, as well as uh, one of the TAB members. Um, something about myself, well, this is my fourth year here. Uh, I'm also in my fourth year of law school, so um, I do keep a particular interest in the legal motions, in case there are any, not many though, uh, because they're quite difficult. Um, what else? About the tournament? Um, well, as I said, fourth year, second year in the cab, third year adjudicating. Uh, it's definitely something that I look forward to the most during the year. Um, and the only fun thing I do during my holidays, so... Yeah, like a week of fun in the Czech Republic. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think of Olomouc? How does it compare to the city of your current studies of law? Um, so, I study in Scotland, so as you can imagine, it's really cold. Um, I, like when I was flying over, I was thinking of taking a jacket and, you know, like a parka jacket. Whereas when uh, we got here, it was so warm. Um, but like apart from the weather, Olomouc is much nicer um, because you know you have a lot of history and scenery and greenery, and there's so much more to do in terms of the historical aspects, um, which is something I really like. Um, Olomouc is also a quite large city, but it has amazing train connections and really good food. Um, maybe not Czech food, but other <laughs> food. Um, yeah, but it's uh, it's one of the cities um, that I really like, and um, especially the. Uh, accommodation to the faculty ratio. The proximity. Yeah, it, it's just fantastic how close it is so that, you know, if you just forget something or if you're oversleep, you can just go and get it. So you'll be talking about, it's your fourth year already here. Yep. Have you seen, um, you've seen Heart of Europe developing, growing. Would you like to say something about that, how, how it compares to four years ago? Um, yeah, so this is something I've already like talked with some of the people about, um, especially with one of the people that was here last year. And mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I do think this is the best year that uh, we've had, definitely in terms of organizing, uh, where the food is better, there are larger portions. I see. Um, we have a lot of different volunteers. Um, the, well, we still have some of the same ones that I started with. And then we have like stable figures such as Martin and um, and Diaco who are there every single year. Um, what else? Oh, I love the hard. Like the idea of the hard, just jumping around in um, in the costume is just adorable. Oh, the, the mascot of yeah. this year. It, it definitely made my week when I found out that it was going to be there, and it was so unexpected when I was up on the stage and I just saw it and I couldn't stop laughing, um, in a positive way. Uh, and then what else? We also have the um, the app, which is really nice to get announcement for it and um, be able to communicate with the debaters and mm -hmm. educators. The ad that's, that was really, I mean, in my opinion, a very big advancement made made the heart of Europe so much more professional sounding. Is is there is there anything you would like to say to uh, maybe debaters who are thinking of coming uh, next year? Um, I would say that you should go for it, uh, for the reasons that I'm sure will be in this video and other videos. Uh, it's one of the tournaments that is planned really well and you can do whatever you want in terms of social activities. Uh, one of the things that actually changed this year are the social activities. We have a social activity every single night. Uh, I was actually first forced into bowling, which I can't do, so that was quite, uh, <laughs> quite new. But you also um, not only make new friends and get new motions um, and get different feedback, but you also get to experience things which you you know, you haven't done before such a, such a, such a silly thing as bowling to, um, for example, debating in the auditorium in front of everyone. There's something new and um, something exciting for every single one of you guys. Well, Laura, thank you very much for the interview. It was lovely to meet you here. Thank you. I hope to see you next year. Likewise.